Okay, let's get started. Okay, so some of you might be new to this program. So if you're new, come right here, subscribe. Share the video to a lot of people. Share this video to a lot of people. Now, without wasting time, let me get started. So application of integration. So you know the integrate that you do all the time, the integrate course, integrate tree, integrate whatever you have. So how can you apply? We can apply to find the area bounded between the two curves. How? For example, you see this integral here, right? You have a one curve and you have another curve. So we want to get the area which is going to be bounded be between those two curves. So first and foremost, I want to have to sketch the graph because if I sketch, it's going to be easy for me to see where those area bounded. Okay, now, um, see, evaluate the integral and interpret the area of the region, sketch the region. So, face, this is my Cartesian plane. This is my Cartesian plane. This is x. Okay, so they say you're going to have to start to stop at pi. Don't go more than pi. Okay, pi over 2. So, pi over 2 is 90. So this is pi over 2, but I beg in your head, if you want to change to degree, means that because of pi means 1 8 over 2, 1 8 over 2 equals to 90. So here we're going to stop. However, you know the graph could have continued. Now let's go sine of when, okay, sine of x, we want to draw graph. When angle equal to 0, if you apply here 0, it's going to be sine of 0, sine of 0 equal to 0. Okay, now let's go for 90 itself. Because this is 90. Sine of 90, or you can say power 2. 90 and power 2 are the same thing. Sine of 90 equal to 1. Oh, so if this is 90, this graph is going to go like this. But I don't, I don't want to go further. I only want to stop there because according to the equation, we're going to have to stop at 90. However, you know, this graph can go all the way, you know. But we don't need the other part of the graph. We want to stop at 90. Now, let's go for cos. Cos of 2x. Now, Cos of zero, if this angle goes to me two times zero, means when you start from here, you see, just like here, if you start with the sine of zero, sine of zero goes to zero. So now we're going to have to do the same thing with the cos. So this is cos of two times zero. Uh, cos of uh, cos of zero, cos of zero goes to one. So let's say this is one. So this graph is going to start from there. Now, let's go cos of uh, ninety. Uh, cos of ninety. So we're going to say cos. Remember, you have a two here times pi over 2, pi over 2. This in this concept is like say cos of pi. But what is cos of pi? Cos of pi, 180 equal to negative 1. Oh, so for pi, cos of 180 equal to negative 1. Okay. So cos, when it's 2 pi, is going to be negative 1. Let's do it like this. It's going to be somewhere here, negative 1 here. If we say this is 1, so negative 1 is going to be somewhere here. Well, this pi is going to be negative 1 here, okay? Well, what about here? Let's go to, this is pi, which is 90, right? Let's go for 45. So 45 is going to be pi over 4. So, say cos, we still have our 2, and now we're going to say pi over 4, which is going to be 45, because pi is 180, over 4 is going to be 45. So you can say 45, or you can say pi over 4, whatever you prefer. Okay, pi over 4, because it gives them pi. So now, this is for 2, 1 for 2, 2. So this is like cos of 90. But what is cos of 90? Cos of 90 equal to 0. So, oh, so this graph, okay. So in other way, this graph is going to go like this. Okay, let me, let me, let me make it clear sense here. It's going like this. Sorry, guys. It's not drawn as color. That's why it looks funny a little bit. But it's like, like this. You see? But it's not drawn scale, it's not a straight line, it's just it's not drawn on scale. Yeah, uh, that one can make a little sense. Great sense. Okay, so this is pi over 4. So here is where it's tough because we have to stop at pi over 2. So this is a graph we need. This is a graph we need. So we want to get the area enclosed between those two curves. The area enclosed between the two curves, this is our first curve, which is sine of x, and this is the second curve, which is cos of x. So where is the area enclosed between those two curves? The area enclosed between those two curves is this area here, look. Let me use another color. So this is the area enclosed, look. Between the two curves. Between the curve, the curve in between, you see? This is the area enclosed. But, uh, oh yeah, this is the area enclosed. But uh, we need to stop at here, remember? 180, so this area enclosed. 
So now, here is when you use absolute. How do we use absolute? I'll show you now. So now I'm going to say the area always equal to integral. Area enclosed between the two graphs equal to integral. A, A the first limit. So what is the first limit? From zero all the way to but uh, okay all the way to power two that's the area enclosed but the thing is not everything because the graph come and then it kind of break here see it break here oh uh, man this graph is not good it break here okay 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 let me let me do this let me do this okay this power four so the graph come and break here but uh, wait so what we're gonna do now uh the problem now we have okay the problem now we have we don't know these coordinates. And I think it's gonna be very wrong for me to say, oh, this is powerful, this must be power A. We don't have no proof. So what we're gonna do, remember, since these two function intersect, when the two function intersect, never say this power power H because this power two. We don't have that proof. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna to have to calculate because these two function intersect, if the intersect means you have, you can equate this function. This and this are equal at this point. So I'm gonna say sign x. It should be equal to cos, cos of 2x, is 2x. Cos of what of? 2x. But what is cos of 2x? Cos of 2x means, uh, I can change this. This I may say uh, 1 minus 2 sine from trigger identity. Cos of 2x means 1 minus 2 sine. Okay, now let's, let me rearrange, take this one over. This is going to be 2 sine square x plus this sine of x. And this one comes back here equal to 1. So this is quadratic here because 2 sine squared plus sine x plus minus 1 is quadratic because it's the same thing square, one thing, one. You see what I'm saying? So you can just factorize this, say, if you factorize, how do we get 2? So 2 sine x squared means 1 must be, 1 must be 2 sine x and this, like this, and this must be sine x. Okay? And uh, it must be sine x, and then, and then, this must be minus one, and then this must be minus one, and this must be plus one. Let's see, two sine x squared, two sine x times this is going to be two sine x squared. These two sine x times this is going to be uh, two sine x. And then negative one times gonna be yeah, this is perfect. So what we're gonna do, just normal factorization. If you don't know, just go to normal factorization. If you have a problem, let me know if you don't know how to factorize. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna equate this equal to zero and this equal to zero. So we know automatically this is gonna be sine x equal to one over two or sine x equal to negative one. We know this is gonna be undefined because you cannot get the inverse of, uh, of the negative because for you to get the inverse here, the value of the number, whichever number which is in here, it has to be between, it has to be between, yeah, you could get, excuse me, I apologize, you can get this, sine inverse of negative one equal to zero, I believe. Shifting, sine of negative one, negative 90. Negative 90 plus one, 270, yeah. So the value of x equal to 270 degree, and the value of x here equal to 30 degree, when you find the inverse x equals like sine shift inverse of a half but uh, because you take that so x equal to 30 the value of x equal 30 and here equal to 270 so the value of x equal to 30 and the value of x here equal to 270 you can just invest this sine inverse come sine inverse like sine inverse of this number which is negative one equal to seven uh, apology for the face face when i say okay so now the value of x either can be 30 or 270, but just by looking, there's no way this can be 270. So this is 30. So 30 is like uh, pi over 6. Oh, so where the intersect, these two graph is at pi over 6. So for that case now, look how I'm going to say now. So now we know, make sure you write this as a part of your solution, but I'm going to have to raise because for me, uh, I want to have a space, but I will know how to do it from. So now I'm going to say, Look, so we're going to have a two parts here. What does that mean? Look, I'm going to say integral from face coordinate. I can write all of it or once or face. I'll say, okay, so I'm going to say from 0 to p 
pi over 2. And then I'm going to write absolute here. You know why I'm going to write absolute? Because we, got, we have two parts. The first part, the cos of 2x was on top to here. Because we know for facts, if you want to find the area of a bounded area, you must take the function which is on top minus the function which is at the bottom. At the bottom. So the problem, the function on top minus, so now, like from 0 to pi over 6, which is 30, the cos of 2x was on top. But from 30 degree, or you can see pi over 6, all the way to pi over 2, now uh, sine of x is on top. So you cannot say only one function was on top and this, oh, no, halfway, it's not, I can say halfway, certain way from here to there, uh, cos of 2x was on top, but from here to there, cos of sine of x was on top. And that's why I have to use absolute in the first place. So I'm going to say now from 0 to pi, pi over 2, I'm going to say cos of 2x, cos of 2x, or you can say sine x, whatever you can, you can call, whatever, okay. This is sine of x sine of x and then minus cos of what of of 2x dx that's why this absolute came from that's what it absolute came from so now let me show you now how we're going to break this so this same is say integral let's start from 0 to 0 to pi over 6 the first portion of the equation so which function was on top here from 0 to pi over 6 which is 30 the function top cos of 2x cos of 2x and then minus because we must take the upper function minus the lower function. So what is the lower function? To okay, the lower function to this point was sine of x, and then we say dx. But are we not finish it because we have a two enclosed area. This is the first area here, and this is the second area. So for the second area, we're going to say plus integral start from pi over six all the way to pi over 2 and then which function was on top here the function which was top from here it was sine of x so here we're going to say sine of x minus sine of x minus cos of 2x cos of 2x dx you see what i'm saying so now i don't need this i can just erase to have a space because now this is what i need for me to finish my question so i'll just erase this and we know how to draw a graph, so I can just finish up the question. Okay. So now I'm gonna say my area equal area equal to area equal area equal to area equal to. Now let me start with the first part. If I integrate this, this is going to be 1 over differentiate 2x, which is going to be 2 right at the bottom. And then when you integrate cos of 2x, you get sine. Okay? When you integrate cos of 2x, you get sine. 2x. You see what I'm saying? Now we go for the next one. Minus, minus. So we're going to have to integrate sine. When you integrate sine, you get negative cos. So it's going to be negative cos of x. But negative, negative, positive. So I can just say positive cos of x. Co positive cos of x. But uh, here, to here is 0 to, so we limit 0 to power 6. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to have to plus the area 2. This is area total. Let's call this area total, all area. Area of all the total. Now, we go for the second one. This is the second one. From integral, start from power 6 all the way to power 2. Now, uh, I can just integrate, I don't have to write integral again. Let me integrate straight away and write my answer. So I'm going to say plus. Now, when you integrate sign, you get negative cos. So this you can, negative cos, negative cos of x. Now, when you integrate cos, but we have a negative, negative. First, differentiate because you have to integrate the second one. So you have to differentiate these two. So we're going to say 1 over 2. And then when you integrate cos, you get sign of 2x but here our limit for the second one is start from pi over 6 to power 2 uh, pi over 6 to power 2 so what I'm gonna do pi over 6 to power 2 right? let me say pi over 6 to power 2 now so what I can do all I do is just simplify 
See, what I have to do is simplify. Okay, now, so our area equal, equal, now. Take upper limit minus lower limit means take this one, substitute all here in this. Okay, now we go. A half is just a half. Sine 2 times pi over 6. Okay, sine 2 times pi over 6. Okay, by 2, 1, by 2, 3. So it's like sine of 180 divided by 3 equal to 60. Sine of 60 equal... I think it's square root of 3 over 2. Sine of 60. Yeah, square root of 3 over 2. So this stuff here is going to give us square root of 3 over 2. Okay, plus cos of pi over 2. It's like cos of 30. What is cos of 30? Cos of 30 equals to square root of... Two. I think it's the same thing. Square root of 3 over 2. Cos of 30. Yeah, square root of 3 over 2. So this is going to be square root of 3 over, over 2. So we're done with... This we both now plug in zero. So when you plug in zero, sine of zero, sine of two times zero go to zero, everything is gonna be zero. So it's like minus because we take upper limit for both minus lower limit. Okay, so lower limit. Okay. Plug in zero is gonna be zero, but this gonna be come here, uh, this gonna be zero all of it. Now plug for a second one because it's gonna be zero plus because we take upper limit minus lower limit. Now Zero and this is gonna be cos of zero. Cos of zero equal to one, so it's one. Zero plus one equal to one. Okay, so all this half equal to one. So we're done with this part here. Now we go for a second group. We plus. Now this is gonna be big a little bit. So okay, let me maybe you can write under here. So you can have space. So plus. Go to big a little bit. This one. Okay. Uh, no, we can plug there. Let's see. Okay. Negative, negative. Okay, cos uh, pi over 2 is 90. Cos of 90 equal to 0. So for the face, it's going to be 0. 0. Now we come here. So it's going to be minus, minus a half, 2. Now, 2 times pi over 2 is like, okay, 2 times pi over 2 is like sine of 90. Sine of 90 equal to 1. 1 times negative a half equal to negative a half. Okay. So the upper limit, when you substitute for both, it just gives us what? Negative a half in total. We minus. What about lower limit? Lower limit is pi over 6. So it's going to be negative. You can substitute use a calculator, right? Lower limit, okay, now we go. This is going to be um, cos of 30. Cos of 30 equal to, um, okay, we still have minus because upper limit minus, okay. Cos of 30 equal to square root of 3 over 2, I believe, yes. Now we minus. Now this has to come here. So it's going to be sine of, um, okay, sine. Pi 2 times pi over 6. 1 and this 3. Okay. Sine of 60. Sine of 60 equal to a half. I believe. Let's go. Sine of 16. No, 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 no. Scores of 3 over 2. Sine of 60. Scores of 3 over 2. Scores of 3 over 2. Sine of 16. Scores of 3 over 2. Okay. Scores of 3 over 2. Okay. So this will be scores of 3 over 2. But we still have to multiply by negative half. When you multiply by negative half, it's going to give you. Uh, Alone minus minus uh, this is going to be square root of uh, 3 over 2 because it's going to be sine of just a minute. I want to make sure here, okay. 2 times uh, times um, 60, okay. Sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2, but I have to multiply by this one of 2, it's going to be 4. Okay, cool. So, what we're going to do now, we can just pull this stuff together. Man, you can just see him maybe if I made some little mistake here because it's the amount of substitution. So now what we're going to do, we can just put this in the calculator together and see what it's going to give to you. Now we go, this and this is going to become positive. So this and this is going to become positive. Let's just make this positive. And negative negative this will make this also positive. So we know for fix this. Uh, no, it's not going to cancel. It's going to be two of them. So plug this in the calculator and then it's going to give you one answer, which is going to be what? It's going to be unit square because it's area unit square. And that's going to be our area for the face part. Now let's go for question number two. Question number two. This question along a little bit, but then trace. So question number two. Okay. Let me go fast a little bit. Because very, very, it's very, very crucial that I have to go fast.
Okay, first and foremost, you want to know how to draw the sketch because you don't want to solve this question if you don't know how to draw a sketch. So, this function and then, okay, partition plane. Uh, let me draw from the center here. See here? We know this is x, means it's going to cut it here. But it seems like this is the, okay, this graph here is going to go like this. But I can show you how it comes, okay? When x equal to 0, what happens? It's going to be square root of 2. Square root of 2 is going to be 1 point something somewhere here. Let's say this is 1. Let's, let's assume this is 1. Let's assume this is 2. So when x equal to 0, it's going to be square root of 2. Square root of 2 is 1 point something. So it's going to be somewhere here. See? So if you plug it, it's going to be like this, this graph. But we want to know where they're going to intersect. Because they say you're going to have to stop at 4. Where they're going to have something common? For me, but just by looking at no, at x equal to x equal to 2, they're going to have something common. Because look, if you plug x equal to 2 here, it's going to be, it's going to be 2 plus 2 equal to 4, which is going to be 2. So when x equal to 2 means it's, it's going to be 2, 2 plus 2 equal to 4, square root of 4 equal to 2, or. Oh. So when x equal to 2, y equal to 4, or. Oh. So when x equal to 2, y equal to 4, for this graph. Now, what about this one? We want to see if it's going to have the same common plane. Okay, when x equal to 2, this is straight line. Means y equal to x. Means when x equal to 2, even y is going to be equal to 2. Oh, so at x equal to 2, they're going to have a common plane. Common coordinate or point of intersection. Okay, so for that case now, you need the point of intersection as your limit for the integration. So for that case, this is going to be the area we need so for this okay now we're not finished yet because they say you don't have to stop at two you have to stop at four so at four means this graph is going to continue let's assume this at four because our space is very small so this is at four at four means we're going to have another region here to four so we're going to have to use the concept of uh concept of uh, absolute which they have given to us but an exam for the most case they're not going to give the integral they're going to give you two functions so for that case you're going to have to do like how i do why do i use absolute or why do they use absolute or in exam if they give to me means i have going to have to create the absolute because i got two part the first part is this which is x plus uh, two is on top two x equal to two and then it goes to the bottom now and now this is x, but here it went to the top. So we're going to have to use two parts of the absolute. How are we going to do that? So that's why I have to say in a row, start from 0 to 4. If it was only top 2, 2, then we didn't need absolute because only one graph is on top. But we have two parts here. So I'm going to say all oh, my absolute. So it's going to be minus x. Absolute. Because we have two parts. And this meaning equal to, so let's say 0 to 4. We have two parts of the absolute. But now I can separate this split area equal to. The same area equal to in a row. Start from 0 to 2. This graph is on top. So means it's going to be on top. Means you take the graph on top minus the graph at the bottom, which is x dx. But we're not done yet. For the second party, the x is going to be on top. And then we minus, this is going to be, but I wish limit from 2 to 4. See? And this is going to be at the bottom. So we minus, it comes after dx. So then what we're going to do, we can just integrate normally. So now, uh, this is substitution. Some people don't know how to do it. Integrate the bar, I can show you. Okay, so integral the first one and integral the second one. So let me do little by little by little. Okay, so I'm going to say integral. Let me start with this x plus 2 dx. So this is uh, substitution. Okay, it's a lot of ways you can do this with me. I can do straight. So this is equal to, uh, I can say, what is square uh, root? Root means it's like a half. So I can say this is the same as a half.
And the next thing I'm gonna do, this is a power rule. So this is power rule means I'm gonna have to add one, and the same thing I'm gonna do at the denominator. So I'm not gonna need this anymore. I'll say also this gonna be three over two, because one plus, half plus one equals two, three over two. So the, this two is gonna come here, two come there. So this two is gonna come here, and then this gonna be three over two. Three over two is like, uh, it's like, okay. It's like, okay, let me write three over two. So I'm, saying, I'm trying to do a shortcut, but I show all the steps. So it's going to be 3 over 2. And then after that, uh, what is 3 over 2? 3 over 2 is like, uh, um, I can say 3 times 1 over 2. So for that case, this same is say uh, uh, root and then power 3. So I can say root power 3. Because look, uh, so x plus 2. Let me show some people don't know. Okay. So, is 3 times 1 over 2. So I can leave 3 and then this a half is a root and then I can say power 3. So that's how we got. See? And this is my 3 here. And that 2 went to the top. Okay. So all this stuff here, it gives us this. And we don't need dx anymore because that's how we integrate and what we have. Minus. Minus. But when you integrate the second one, it's going to be x squared over 2 now we come for this so we're gonna have to uh, our limit 0 to 2 and then we plus we plus now we do the same game if you integrate this on here it's gonna be the same thing of course because x and so this gonna be x squared over 2 the only difference gonna be limit and this gonna be same thing just like this gonna be 3 oh my god now the space is very small so Okay, 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 no problem, I'll play around here. So minus, minus, so I'm gonna say two, two, and then x plus two, and then power three, and then we over three. But the limit for this case is gonna be from zero, from two to four. So I can say from two to four. So what we can do now, substitute upper limit minus lower limit which you can, I don't have a calculator with me, uh, I do have a calculator, but just to save it time, take upper limit, take these two substitute in the position of x, everywhere, take these two, plug it in here, plug it in here, and then get the answer, minus lower limit, means take this zero, plug in all the position of x's, zero, zero, and see what you're gonna get, right here also. So we're done with the first part, and they say plus, plus, you do the same thing here, take the upper limit, which is four, Plug here in a position of x, in x, and they're gonna get the value, and they're gonna say minus lower limit. Um, take this two, plug in a position of x for the whole equation here. So it's gonna be two, two, four, four over two, the two minus, plug in again, also you get the value of whatever you have. And now, finally, we're gonna get the area, okay? Our area is gonna be area equal to whatever you got, unit squared. Now, let's go for the uh, question number the number three. Okay, number three. I'm sorry guys. This space was very small. go quick a little bit okay now number three they say find the area of the region bonded um, bonded by the following curve with the following by the following curve bonded by the following curve so you see in exam this is how they're gonna give to you they're not gonna simplify and give to you like the absolute that's why I was showing you how to get the absolute or how the absolute comes about so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna have to sketch my graph here because most of the time it's very good for you to sketch so you can understand what happened, okay? Okay, why equal to x? So we know this one be here. Y equal to x. And another one, sine of pi over two. Pi over two is like, pi is 180, 180 over two equal to 90, it's like 90x. Okay, so, um, let me assume this is equal to one. So, I want to know where they're going to intersect, but a sine graph is always like this. See? So the graph is going to go like this. It's like sine, 
90x but i want to know where they're going to intersect you know i don't want to equate this and waste a lot of time okay where they're going to intersect i'm going to say i can just use the common sense if i plug one here x equal to one let's assume x equal to one here okay if this equal to one is going to be sign off because this is one eight over two equal to 90 x okay one times 99 to sign of 90 equal to one. Oh, so if x equal to one and plug it in here it will give me sign of 90 which equal to one. Oh, okay equal to one so when x equal to one y equal to one for this equation now let's come here when x equal to one y is going to be oh so means this graph they're going to intersect here they have something common I don't know my graph is correct, okay? Like if it's clean, I'm not saying, okay? St stuff like that. So we don't want to go further, we just need only where they intersect. Because they did not give us any limit like how far. If they cross 70 until 2, let me, let, me, let me show you something very interesting. This is 1, 1, right? Let me say. If they say, go to 2, let's say for example, they say uh, 0, 2, 2. I mean, this graph is going to go like, so you're going to have absolute. But for this case, they did not tell us anything, means we only stop at the intersection. Right where the intersect. So that's why we stop, and this is the area closed by sine, sine of uh, pi x over 2 and y equal to x. So for that case now, we're going to go to the area. So we don't want to use the absolute for this case because uh, we don't have that. Two region, only one region. So area equal to integral, start from 0 to 1. And now we're gonna say upper function we know is that, but you must say fx minus u fx dx right there. It has a mark. You have to do that. Don't say oh you're right and lost two marks. Okay. Now upper graph is sine pi x over two minus lower graph. Lower graph is y equal to x means it's just x. So we subtract these two functions. So now let's integrate the face one. So area equal to it's like integral of sine pi x power 2x uh power 2 uh, okay let me just show some people have time that understand so it's an inner growth x dx sign from zero to one now we go so when you okay if somebody give you inner growth of sine of a function dx so this let me say one over derivative of function and then when you integrate sine you get negative cos See what I'm saying? Plus constant if we don't have a limit. But if you have a limit, then you start there, you say from A to B, if this is A to B or whatever they have given to you. So now for this case here, I'm gonna do the same again. I'm gonna have to derivate my function. What is my function? Pi over two x. So when you derivate, I'm gonna say one over derivative of pi over two x, which is gonna give me pi over two. But this two is gonna to go to the top. So it's like say 2 over pi because this 2 is going to go to the top. So it's 2 over pi. So this is going to be 2 over pi. And then when you integrate sine, you get negative cos. So it's going to be minus cos of pi over 2x minus. This is going to give you, this is a power because 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2 over 2. So let me start from 0 to 1. We can substitute upper limit minus lower limit. Then the question is done because now take, you see this is x. In the position of x, plug the value of upper limit through up so it's going to be negative 2 over pi okay and this is going to be cos uh one is going to be 180 okay pi times one equal to pi power to 180 divided by two equal to 90 because one is equal to zero so everything here is going to be equal to zero because zero times negative power to uh, negative two over pi equal to zero minus okay plug in one it's going to be one one is going to be one over two is going to be one over two zero minus a half is going to be negative a half so upper limit give us negative one, negative one half minus. Lower limit, this is going to be zero, so zero. But uh, when you plug in here, it's going to be what? It's going to be cos of zero. Cos of zero go to one. So it's going to be, uh, okay, 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 excuse me. So upper limit give us this, minus lower limit. So for lower limit, let me do that. This is going to make a lot of sense. Okay, we we'll plug in here. So if you plug this is one, it's going to be uh, one, Pi one uh, 180, 180 equal to 90, cos of 90 equal to everything is going to be equal to zero. Okay, minus because it's a lower limit now. We'll go plug in here, it's going to be uh, what am I doing now? Come on now. The upper limit is done. I'm making, I'm mix up medicine. The upper limit is done. Okay, I 
matter of myself. Okay, let me start, start short again. Upper limit, what is the upper limit? Plug the position X with one throughout. Okay, when you plug one in here, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be power to one eight, one hundred equal to ninety. Because ninety equal to zero, so everything was 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 zero. Let me do like this. Minus lower limit. Lower limit. No, nope. we plug one here because we must plug for both. Plug one is gonna be half, so half. So we down with the upper limit. And then we come plus minus. Excuse me. Upper limit minus lower limit. What is the lower limit? Take zero, substitute here. So if you take zero, see I was wrong already. Take zero, substitute here. It's gonna be uh, uh, cos of zero go to one, so it's gonna be negative negative two over pi, and then minus zero is gonna be just a zero. So now this will be negative a half plus pi over two. So all this stuff is going to give us uh, plus power over two, right? And then minus a half because plus power over two minus a half. So this let me say pi over two minus a half. But uh, this must be unit square bracket unit square because this is area. So you write unit square next to it because that's it unit area. So I can just say when I. A final answer equal to pi over two minus a half unit square. Look, uh, you can identify my little mistake, and you can go. The important thing is for you to learn uh, concepts. Concepts. Okay. Now we go to question number 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 four, right? Oh yeah, number four. I want to check first if it does record because. That time I was doing it. a lot of things, and then it was not recording. Yes, it does record. Thank you. Okay, now, so we go to question number four. Question number four is easy. The game are the same, I guess it's the same game. So now we go to question number, question number five. So we're gonna have to skate this graph, okay? Easy. Play the same game like how we did. Okay, so this is going to be x and this is going to be our what? Our y. So cos of x. Cos of x, you know, when x equal to zero, y equal to one somewhere. So this graph is going to go all the way. But uh, when equal to ninety, which equal to power over two, graph is going to be equal to zero because you know cos of ninety equal to zero, which is power two. So now you go, you're going to have to use a lot of, but you must be very very careful now. Look, sine of two. Time so now let me plug sign. I want to know when it's pi over 2. So 2 times pi over 2. This and this cancel. So it's like sine of 1 8 because it's pi. Sine of pi is like sine of 1 8. What is sine of 1 8? Sine of 1 8 equal to 0. Woo! Let me trace it. So this graph is going to go like this. Look. <laughs> so, so when it's pi over 2, because remember it's like sine 2 times pi, like sine 2. What is a pi over 2? We want to know when it's pi over 2 half sine of pi but sine of pi equal to zero so this graph is going to go all the way and here is going to turn again to zero so we want to know where the maximum point but we know it's going to go all the way turn here to zero because we have seen it because you know why because of these two it can affect it affect it okay now so we want to let's say power over four power four is going to be like uh four to five so let's say at power four what happened at power over four it's going to be sine 2 times pi over 4, which is like 4 to 5. Okay, this is 1 and this is 2. So sine of 9. Sine of 9 is equal to 1. Oh, so when sine pi over 4 is going to be at 1 somewhere here. So now we know the graph is going to go like this. Stuff like that. This is a rough sketch, okay? Don't say, oh, it's supposed to be like this. It is a rough sketch. So now we're gonna say, so we wanna know where they're gonna intersect because the only place we know is here. So we wanna know where they're gonna intersect because we know obvious this is not this is pi over four, but we wanna know where they're gonna intersect because see, this is absolute question. You know why? Because you have a two region, area one, area and close, and this is area two, area and close. You see, so we want to know this point of intersection. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to equate this to cos of x equal to sine 
of two, but the sine of two x is like two sine x cos of x. So what I can do, I can just pull everything one side. Either okay, let me take over. So it's gonna be zero equal two. Uh, this is gonna come here. It's gonna come out. This is gonna be zero minus cos of x. Okay, so I can factor out cos of x out. It's gonna be two uh, sine x minus 1. So we can equate this equal to 0. Cos x equal to 0. Cos x equal to 0. So this is this cos x equal to 0. And this is going to be 2 sine x equal to uh, even this group to 0. So that's like 2 sine x minus equal to 1. Because this equal to 0 and this equal to 0. So if you take this, uh, I think you understand guys, I'm not dealing with the grade 1 here, okay? So this is going to go over. That's all, okay. Divide by 2 divided by 2 is going to be half. So it's going to be x equal, when you find the inverse of this equal to shift sine inverse. Let me find the inverse. Shifting sine of uh, half 0 0.5. I'll make sure you go 30. Yeah, 30. Okay, this x, okay, when cos equal to 0, uh, angle could be 0, even 180. 0, 180. So it could be either 0. Uh, No, 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 90 or 270. Could be 90 or it could be 270. Because you know, cos of 90 equal to 0, cos of 270 equal to 0. But uh, we, yeah, it could be 90 or 270. Okay, now, but uh, we want to know where they're going to intersect. By looking, all this angle, this is 30. Just by looking, look, pi over 4 equal to 45. So this is 30. But, you know, I'm not going to take 90 because, no, I need this point here. So this is going to be 30. It's like pi over 6 because 30 is like pi over 6. So this coordinate is pi over 6. So for that case now, I, this, I'm this i going to rewrite it. Make sure you show all these works. Eh? It's part of the solution also. So I can say integral. It's like area equal to integral. Start from 0 to pi over 2. I'll write it as absolute because we have a 2 region. And I'll write my absolute. Okay, this, 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 which is cos, cos, cos of x minus sine of 2x dx. Why well, right is absolute? Because we have a two region. At first place, this is the top, 2 pi over 6. But from pi over 6 to 180, this graph, of course, it went down, the graph sign went on top. So I can rewrite a simple uh, area equal to from 0 to power of 6 and then my upper function here is cos of x cos of x minus okay minus sine of 2x because it's below here sine of 2 dx and then we're going to add the area 2 because this is going to give us area 1 and this is going to give us the area 2 which I'm going to write here because of the space integral start from power of 6 all the way to power 2 and then I'm gonna to have to plug now which which function is gonna be on top here? The sine is gonna to be on top, sine of 2x, and then minus the function which is below, which is cos of x dx. So what we can do, we can just simply integrate and get a final answer. So let's just integrate and get a final answer. I have to finish up this. It's easy. But let me show you. Let's finish up. That's the right way of doing things. So say area. God. Area equal to. Now, when you integrate cos, uh, you get sine. Okay. Minus, minus. When you integrate, this is going to give us 1 over 2 because you have to differentiate. You say 1 over the derivative of 2 uh, sine. 1 over the derivative of this could be 2. 2. Because you have to derive 1 over the result to deliver it. And when you integrate this, you're going to get a negative cos. It's going to make it positive cos. Now, we're done for the first part, but our limit, 0 to power 6, 0 to power 6. We plus area 2. So this is going to give us area 1 of the region. Area 2, now, uh, this is going to give us 1 over derivative 2. x is going to give you 2. And when we integrate sine, it's going to give us negative cos. But we have a 2x here. Minus minus when you integrate cos you get sine. 
power limit for this case half from power 6 all the way to power 2. So for that case now, I can just substitute upper limit minus lower limit. Take this power 6, substitute in the position of x throughout. Okay, so I think you can do that. Take power 6, power 6 is like a 30. Sound of 30 equal to square root of 3 over 2 plus. Now, take, plug in here. So it's going to be cos of 30. Cos of 30 equal to, I think it's a half. Cos of 30. So sine of 30 was, oh uh, no, sine of 30 equal to half, I was wrong. Sine of 30 equal to half, and then cos of 30 equal to square root of 3 over 2. This is going to be like 4. 4, okay. So this is the upper limit minus lower limit. If you plug here, it's going to be 0. Okay, it's going to be a half times cos of 0 equal to 1, so it's like a half. So we're done with the first group. Now we come here. But a, a half minus a half is gone. So it's like square root of 3 over 2, this in this case. Square root of 3 over 2. 4, square to 3 over 4. So all this stuff is done for the first group, square to 3 over 4. Square to 3 over 4. Plus, now, take that one half. Uh, I think we can finish up this. Take power 2, plug in the position of x. Now we go negative a half. Okay, cos of 2x means 2 times a half, which is going to be 2 and 2 cancel, so it's cos of pi. Cos of pi equal to like cos of mm, negative 1. So all this stuff is going to give us negative 1. Now we go minus. Now, sine of 90 equal to 1. So this is going to be positive 1, uh, positive half, positive half minus, it's going to be negative a half. Or, no, 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 no. Yeah, negative, because this and this positive, a half minus, it's going to be negative a half. So this is negative a half. So it's negative a half. Now, uh, so we take this substituting negative a half, upper limit minus lower limit. Uh, this can be 30. So two times, okay, two times pi over six, this and this constant, so it's 30. Cos of 30, cos of 30, square to 30 over two. So upper limit minus lower limit, lower limit is gonna be, uh, uh, so it's gonna be negative, because there's a negative 3 over 2, but 2 times 2 equal to 4. You can substitute slowly. Okay, this is going to be 30. So it's not 30, it's going to be plug in here. It's going to be 1 over 2, which is 30. Means I made a mistake here. Excuse me. Let me do slowly. This substitute here is going to be 2 times pi over 6. This and this is going to be 3, 60. So I was wrong. It's supposed to be cos of cos of 60, cos of 60 equal to a half. Half, yeah. So this is supposed to be half, so it's going to be 1 over 4. 1 over 4, my apologies. Okay? Now, you come here, it's going to be 30. Sound of 30 equal to also a half. Okay, so plug this in the calculator. So this and this is going to give us, it's going to make Put it in, it's going to be positive, positive, positive. This and this is going to cancel. So it's cut off 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4. And this is going to give us 1 plus cut of 3 over 4. Unit square. Like I say, you can just see maybe, because uh, I don't use a calculator there, you can plug in very small and get the accurate answer. Let's go to the last question here. Last question. Let it trace. Okay, so the trick with this is just we have to just sketch the graph, that's all. And then we can get it done. Sketch the graph and get it done easily, man. Okay, so uh, there's a question here, which is y equal to x cubed minus x and another one y equal to 3x. So you can just chill down and draw this graph so we say, okay, so face. I can do like this. Okay, this is y, this is x. Now we go. I want to get x intercept. When x intercept, y equal to 0. 
So this can be like 0 equal to x cubed minus x. Take x out. If you take x out, this can be x2 and this can be 1 and 1x one is going to go out. So x equal to 0 and this is going to be x squared minus 1 equal to 0. So x equal to plus or minus 1 because it's going to take off. It's going to be x squared equal to 1 square root square root x equal to plus or minus 1 on the square root. So the value of x is going to be x in a set. It's going to be negative 1 and another one x equal to 0 and another one x equal to 1. Let's see there. So this is the x intercept. Okay? So this graph is going to go like this because it's positive. So we know it's going to go like this. Graph sketch of y equal to x cubed minus x. Okay, y equal to 3x. So y equal to 3x means something like this. So the area of enclosed is going to be between the two graphs. Look, this is the area which is enclosed. You see what I'm saying? So they did not say like, okay, we start from there. So this is the area enclosed. So I'm going to find the first area and then I count for the second area. The steps are the same. So, okay, let's go, let's go. So here I know the value of x. But the problem, I need to know this point of intersection. So I know the limit must start from here to there, must start from here to there. You see? So I'm going to have to equate these two, uh, two graphs and find the intersection point. So now I'm going to have to say uh, x cubed minus x, it should be equal to 3x. So everything come back. It's going to be x cubed minus 4x equal to 0 takes x out, it's going to be x squared minus 4 equal to 0. So this equal to 0, x equal to 0, or x squared equal to 4. Square root, square root, x equal to plus or minus 2. Oh, so where the intercept is x at equal to 0, which is the first point, another point, x equal to 2. Okay, okay, x equal to 2. Remember this is 1, but it's not drawn scale, so let's say like this. So another point of intersection is going to be x equal to 2, this point here, x equal to 2. And another one, x equal to negative 2. x equal to means this point here, x equal to negative 2. But remember they intersect each other, means I can take this x equal to negative 2, I can substitute in eight of the two, either for this equation or for this to get y. Okay, when x equal to negative 2, uh, 3 times negative 2, negative 6. So that's the point of intersection. And here, it's going to be 2. 2 times is going to be positive 6. So those are point of intersection. So now, this is going to be absolute because you have a this graph is on top but here it came at the bottom but here it's like 3x this is x cubed minus x and now x cubed minus x it came at the bottom and x went to the top so you're going to use the concept of, of the absolute so i'm going to say area equal to integral start from negative 2 to positive 2 but x cubed minus x minus 3x absolute dx and then i can find the area one and area two same concept just like how i did before so now i'm going to say area equal to integral from negative two to zero this graph on the top minus 3x and this will give us minus 4x Okay, so, so minus 4x. Okay, so but I show in exam minus 4x dx. We plus the second area which is 0 to 2. 0 to 2 value of x, remember, because 0 to 2. Now this is on top 3x. We minus by x cubed minus x. X cubed. So I don't need this now. I can just erase because now I don't need it. I don't need none of this now. Minus, uh, minus what? Minus x cubed minus x. Dx. So what I can do, just integrate and finish everything. Okay. So this one here is going to become, 
let's start with here. This is going to be x4 over 4 minus, this is going to be 4x squared over 2. So we're done for the first one, but our limit is negative 2 to 0. We plus, now we come for the second one. Okay, this 3x minus x is going to give us 2x. Okay, this is like 2x, so I can say 2x, so I don't need this, I can just say 2x. Okay, now let's integrate. 2x squared over 2, because it's going to be this power 1, plus 1 is going to be 2x squared over 2. Cancel 2, cancel 2 is going to be x squared. We minus, we minus here, okay? Now this is going to be x power 4 over 4, x power 4 over 4. X power 4 over 4. So here, the limit is going to start from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. So the next thing, let's substitute the limit, upper limit, minus lower limit, and we can get done with the equation. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Now let's substitute. And finish up with a pen, right? Pen, man. Okay, so upper limit zero. If you substitute zero, this thing is going to be zero here. Okay, minus, minus. Now we substitute all zero, zero. No, in the position of x, is going to put zero, zero. Everything is going to be zero. Now we come for this one here. Okay, lower limit negative two, negative two. Power four is going to be 16 over four equal to four. Okay, minus. This is going to be uh, negative two square equal to four. Four times four equal to. 4 times, uh, yeah, 4, 4 times 2, 6, 6, 8. Go with minus 8. Okay. So we're done with the first party. Now we plus the area 2. What is the area 2? Plug in upper limit here in the position of x. Position 2, 2. Okay. 4 minus 16 over 4. So this one be 4. Minus. Plug in in here. 2, 2, 16 over 4 equal to 4. 4. Equal to 0 because it's going to be false. 4 minus 4 equals to 0. You can identify a mistake, guys. So 0 minus plug in 0, everything's going to be 0. So this is going to be negative 4 plus 8. So negative 4 plus 80 plus 0. And this is going to be equal to 8 minus 4 equals to 4. Unit square. Why we say unit square? Because this is the area. Man, look, I believe you learn how to do things. And if you leave a comment, I'm going to apply to your canvas. Like I say, you learn from how I solve the question. And if you face time, subscribe and listen, man. This is very, very important. Don't afraid to do that. You got $2, $3, $5, $100. Don't be ashamed. You can put it in. You can get me on the world with me. You can donate me to the PayPal. You know, you can also donate to my website, you know, so we can keep this project going. I appreciate it. Don't feel ashamed, okay? I'm not going to say, oh, you know, uh, he's shy or she's shy. You can just do it to mention I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Of peace in the mouth.